control, that spirit will begin to feel a certain lust for a pastor. If it's a lust for recognition, she'll recognize him. If it's a lust for sex, she'll begin to be sexual towards him. If it's a lust for uh, for affirmation, she'll she'll affirm him. Whatever lust that he has in his life, she'll begin to accommodate that. And the exchange is, I, I, I will fulfill your lust. Remember, it's a harlot system. This is what harlots do. This is what prostitution, prostitutes do. I will fulfill your lust if you give me your authority or you give me your power so that's the power behind uh jezebel she has to have someone who's willing who is first of all has uncontrollable lust and they're in a position of leadership and she will begin to exploit that and begin to manipulate that leadership to push her agenda amen now i've said enough about about the first point i need to get i need to really get down we got about four more points so turn over here to first kings uh chapter 16 uh, this is another, I'm just going to give you one more scripture on her power, and, and then I'm going to go to her focus. So 1 Kings chapter 16, let's look at verse um, 31. It says, and it came to pass, as it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the sons of Nathan, and this is talking about Ahab again. Uh, matter of fact, let's start at verse 30. And Ahab, the son of Omri, did evil in the sight of the Lord, above all that were before him, and it came to pass as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that he took to wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ithbel, king of the Zendonians, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. 32. And he reared up an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built. And Ahab made a grove, and Ahab did more, more to provoke the Lord uh, of, of Israel to anger than all the kings that were before him. So there, again, we see that that Jezebel had an agenda, but Ahab had the power or the authority she needed. So she, so, so, so a lot of times when you see this Ahab Jezebel uh, 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 um, combination, uh, 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 a lot of times you see a lot of times uh, there are marriages that are based upon this. People get married because uh, they had uh, 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 they had what I needed. They had the authority. Uh, a lot of times, you know. Uh, uh, a lot of times, uh, people people that operate out of the spirit of Jezebel, they want authority, they lust authority in the church, so they go seeking out pastors to marry pastors, or or to or to leech on to a man of God or a woman of God, uh, to begin to control and begin to to manipulate uh, uh, into him into a marriage, uh, only for the sake of uh, only for the sake of, of of fulfilling a political agenda. So that marriage, is, so when you see Jezebel marriages, it's not based on children, it's not based on it's not based on really love. It's based on what we can do for one another. It is a political alliance, okay? And so a lot of times these 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 combinations are dangerous because it's one thing to, to, to deal with Spirit of Jezebel. It's another thing to deal with Ahab who is giving her his authority to fulfill her agenda. So in other words, when Jezebel comes after you, she, needs his, she uses his authority to actually do it. And we'll see that a little later. Uh, uh, even even in, even when Elijah uh, confronted and, and killed the prophets on Mount Carmel, uh, it, it was it was her. She used she used Ahab's authority uh, to confront him. So let's so so, so let's let's go ahead and uh, turn over here. Uh, let's now let's look at her focus. Let's look at uh, 1 Kings eighteen. First Kings eighteen, and let's look at verse. Um, let's look at verse four. First Kings 18, because Jezebel has a focus. Okay, in other words, uh, this is this is this is this is this is what Jezebel focuses on. Okay, uh, 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 and it's very important that you understand this because if you are uh, because if you have any of these, you know, when, when I when I begin to read this, uh, uh, if, if if you have prophetic gifts or an anointing on your life or if you are uh, uh, greatly gifted or, or have great wisdom or understanding, uh, then you are you will become a focus uh, of the spirit of Jezebel, and I'll show you why. Let's look at um, let's look at verse um, let's look at verse four, okay? And it says, "For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord." Okay, so Jezebel's focus was to destroy the prophetic ministry. Her goal was to take away people or to or to run away or destroy people who had a genuine prophetic gift now now you say why because if jezebel wants to introduce her own agenda which was really bell worship or really just control she used bell worship to control the people then she cannot have genuine a genuine prophetic gift operating 
Okay. In other words, she can't because because true prophetic gifts have discernment. In other words, they begin to speak the word of the Lord, and it's and it's not profitable for people in leadership for somebody to speak the word of the Lord and they're operating in the spirit of Jezebel or they're operating in the spirit of control. Because one thing that that, that God does with the word of the Lord, whenever God begins to, whenever a, a a a true prophet or somebody with a prophetic gift begin to speak, it brings liberty or freedom. In other words, it releases folks from the yokes of bondage or things that are binding them. Well, Jezebel had them bound under a yoke of idolatry and a yoke of, of sexual sin. So when the true prophet began to stand up and says, this is not the way of the Lord, then she would, then she felt threatened. So I need to silence or cut off or shut the mouth of the genuine men of God or women of God. And, and, and so, so her focus became destroying uh, true ministries, true prophetic gifts, true voices, true True, uh, uh, you know, uh, also that includes intercessory ministries, ministries that where people pray and hear the Lord. Her goal was to cut them off. And so what Jezebel does, remember, she is, is that is she established a religious system inside the kingdom. And her system is to keep the people immature, young and ignorant. So they'll be led by what she says, or they'll be led by the leaders that she placed up, put up, which was the 850 prophets that the Bible says sat at her table. And she basically fed them and they prophesied her will to the people. And so if you want to know why the body of Christ is, is, is the way it is and why it seems so weak and why, you know, we have so many uh, problems now and why it seems like you can't even turn on Christian TV and hear a word from the Lord. Like I remember maybe 15, 20 years ago, you could turn on Christian TV and everybody on her was anointed and you could hear a word from the Lord. But now I'm not saying all, oh, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying everybody do. Please don't say I'm saying everybody. I'm not saying it. I'm saying, but. But now uh, the messages now are more for uh, self-help and philosophy and not dealing with any issues. You know, they no one talks about abortion. No one because see now abortion is, is a is a Jeze is part of the Jezebel system. Uh, uh, homosexuality is part of the Jezebel system. Uh, 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 marriage. Uh, nobody really deals with a lot of those top. Uh, 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 not many people. Let me say it like that. Are dealing with those topics it's all about prosperity and, and, I, and there's nothing wrong with prosper i believe in prospering but i believe we need to be taught the truth of the uh, so that people don't become ensnared in a lot of things they're being ensnared in but anyway so so the number two point was her focus uh, her focus is on genuine prophetic ministries and that's very important you need to understand and that's not just people who have a, who, who say who, uh, people who have a prophetic gift or, or are a prophet uh, you know, it's people who hear from God. I mean, in other words, every Christian should be able to hear from the Lord. So her focus is on those Christians that hear from God. Why? Because if you cannot be controlled, it's hard to control a person when they're hearing and they're confident that they're hearing the voice of the Lord. And the Bible says, and that's biblical, the Bible says uh, those who are led by the spirit of God are the sons of God. So God leads us by spirit. The Bible says when the whole, Jesus said that when the Holy Spirit has come, he shall lead you and guide you into all truth. You have no need for a man to teach you because the Holy Spirit will begin to lead you and guide you. Well, she goes out the spirit led ministries, ministries that begin to allow the spirit of God to flow. Ministries that are led by the spirit of God. And, 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 and that spirit sets itself up and begins to begins to come with a false spirituality or a pseudo spirituality. To, to divert the people's attention away from the word of the Lord. Amen. Okay, let, 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 me, let me finish this uh, scripture. Uh, it says, for it was so uh, when uh, Obadiah, when Jezebel cut off the, the prophets of the Lord, that Obadiah took a hundred uh, prophets and hid them by 50 in the cave and fed them with bread. Now, now jump down here to verse 13, eight, uh, um, 1 Kings 18 and 13. And it says, uh, um, now this is Elijah, when Elijah went to talk to Obadiah and and and, and uh, Elijah's uh, um, um, speaking with Obadiah. He says, was it not told my Lord, I mean, Obadiah speaking to Elijah about how he hid the prophets from Jezebel. Uh, he says, there was it not told my Lord what Jezebel, what I did when Jezebel slew the prophets of the Lord, how I hid 150, I mean, 100 of the Lord's prophets, 50 in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And then the Bible says that it, that it wasn't enough uh, for Jezebel to run off the prophet, she killed, slew, destroyed. That's the that's the focus of, of the Jezebel spirit to destroy those who have the ability to hear from the Lord, because it brings it causes people to question uh, her doctrine. It causes people to question her authority because the Lord 
because what the Lord begins to do is the Lord is, is whenever someone prophesies truth, uh, 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 truth exposes agendas. The, so the Bible says the word of God is quick, alive and active and sharpening any two edged sword and then divides.